What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Satisfactory. Today, we are demolishing and rebuilding a large part of our factory. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. It's going to be a good time. We are officially getting rid of all these fuel generators. We do not need them. We have nuclear power. We have plenty of nuclear power. We can always up our nuclear power if we need to. Trust me, we have plenty of nuclear capabilities. However, this stuff, I don't need it anymore. It, it doesn't need to be here. We're going to go ahead. We're going to get rid of it. It's, it's, it's going bye-bye. We don't need this power. It is completely useless. It's turning everything into fuel. We don't need fuel. Yeah, we're going to use this oil to actually make some... Wait, what? I didn't get anything back off this. Is everything in this one box? What? That, <laughs> why did it do that? I have no idea. Uh, but yes, anyways, we're going to get rid of this stuff and we're going to make this our new plastic uh, rubber uh, petroleum coke factory area that's it's all happening here this is where it's all gonna happen at it's gonna be a good time hopefully you guys enjoy if you do don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more also you can catch us live on twitch.tv slash z1 gaming where we do a lot of live streaming action it's a lot of fun it's a good time all right let's go ahead we gotta get we gotta get rid of all this we don't need any of it anymore for now we're gonna have to repipe stuff things like that but that's all gonna be uh you know that's all that's all we're gonna have to do that anyway so um all right let's see did i get any stuff okay i have <laughs> i have a lot of stuff I don't have so much rubber. What requires so much rubber? I don't even remember. Fantastic. So this area is pretty much cleaned up. Let's see what we're going to need. We're going to need a bunch of refineries. Oh, darn it. Of course, I don't have anything that I need for the refineries. So let me grab some of those refineries. Now, like I said, we're going to be switching primarily. We're going to be switching completely over to plastic and rubber. It's going to be made in the refinery. We're going to do it. It's going to be a thing. But I'm going to need a lot of these guys. I think I'm going to need a few. And I'm trying to remember how much oil production we actually currently have because I'm pretty sure we overclocked them all and I don't want to overdo it. But at the same time, like, I don't want to underdo it either. Do you guys like my Firefly Zoo? It's fantastic. I swear, there's more in here. Every time I come by, I feel like there's more of them. The little buggers. Oh, I hate you guys so much, but you're so cute. Okay, we're moving on. We're going to go check. I'm going to go check my uh, my oil line and I want to see what we have roughly uh, production-wise. All right, what are you guys actually producing here? So they're producing 150 per minute. That one's 150. Let's make sure they're all 150, not one's higher. This one's 300. All right, so let me write these down individually because I'll forget. You know I will. So we got 150 on one. We got 300 on this one. How are you doing? Uh, this one's 120. Oh, it's not even overclocked. Wait, what note is this? Normal? Is this one a pure? Normal. Oh, wait, so is this one impure? Oh, it is. All right, so another one we could overclock to 300. Okay, so that'd have to be its own pipe for sure. And then what's this one over here? This one's impure. So this one's going to be maxed out at 150. Okay, so we only need the three pipes. So we can link the two 150s together, and then the 300s are going to have to have their own pipe. Okay, easy enough. So you know what? Actually, before we even get anywhere, let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's get these bad boys linked together, because if we don't, we're going to forget, and it's going to be a terrible, horrible disaster later. Now, what are the odds that I need a pump here? Probably pretty high. And I don't have a rotor. That's fantastic. Uh, how's this flow rate? Oh, it's actually quite fantastic. That filled up no problem. Awesome. Okay. So the two 150s are connected. Uh, and then the 300s have their own lines, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, they do. Okay. I know it looks amazing over here. Like the pipe work is phenomenal. So you don't even need to comment down below. I know it's great. <laughs> Joking, of course. So we have a total of essentially 900 oil per minute a meter cubed per minute whatever 900 per minute is what we can deal with so let's see what we can do with that once we bring it down and i think unfortunately we are going to have to have three separate lines running all the way down to the base but i want to try to have the factory a little bit closer to my main my main giga factory you know i use the term giga factory lightly for me it's a giga factory for other people that make absolutely monstrous factories it's not it's a teeny tiny factory but that's okay because to me it's my own little giga factory it's a little giga factory all right now looking at these guys plastic will use oh, wait hold on this one's already making plastic huh this is oh this is making residual plastic i need okay well let's just like regular plastic let's do that all right so it needs 30 per minute and then rubber if we use regular rubber we could use alternate stuff but like I'm good. We're going to use regular rubber uh, because I have a use for this uh, heavy oil residue anyways. So rubber needs 30 per minute as well. All right, cool. And then both of those are going to produce 20 fluid. So for the heavy oil residue. Oh, factory inspectors here, man. How's it going? 
yeah you like you like that that's uh that's making our that's making our, our canister feel oh god he's just taking the inside don't look inside don't look inside it's fine just trust me trust my words it, just go oh god he's going in oh gosh we're gonna get in trouble we're gonna get it written up osha is not happy <laughs> anyways all right so plastic and rubber um i want to make i believe i want to make um i want to have like a two-thirds ratio i want two-thirds of it to be plastic i want a third of it to be uh rubber because i feel like we're using more plastic than rubber i don't really want to do half and half because i think we're gonna be hit hard well let me run some numbers and see what kind of numbers we're expecting here though all right so if i did my maths correctly which i probably did not i probably did not but if i did we are going to be actually running some with power slugs we're gonna be using shard because if i don't the numbers are gonna be insane and i don't want to have to build that many uh deals so we are going to need a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> for primarily refineries so we're gonna need uh 10 of these guys with two slugs in each one for plastic we're gonna need another five for rubber with two slugs each then we're gonna do uh four more so that's gonna give us 19 with two slugs each for petroleum coke we're gonna do one regular no slugs and we're gonna do one with fuel and one for package fuel because literally i just want the package i want the fuel just to be package fuel just so i can grab it for the jet pack and vehicles and things like that as i need um but literally no other use other than that so we need 20 tw 22 refineries this would be a whole lot bigger if i didn't have double slugs and half of them because just for plastic and rubber i would need 30. <laughs> so uh 22 of those guys not bad we should be able to go grab the encased industrial beam steel pipe all that fun stuff no problem i'm gonna dump this stuff into my auto sorter deal because i have too much stuff in my inventory also we got to do piping and things of that nature as well and conveyor belts and things like that so uh let's just go ahead and oh no 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 i want those okay let's grab all those grab all that all these all those all those that this those these those that this uh and we should be good we should be good all right so i need 220 motors uh in case industrial beams steel pipes you know what i am gonna need wire so let's just go ahead and grab uh two stacks of wire just because we're gonna need it i'm gonna need some quick wire because i'm gonna make all my quick wire poles and deals uh i'm gonna need a bunch of this for piping we're gonna need these for the support structures uh i'm gonna need some concrete for the support structures we're gonna need some plates for the support structures for the piping and steel pipe in case industrial beams okay so uh one and two and there's the 220 we're gonna need these for belts and then oh i'm actually gonna need more copper sheeting holy moly all right well let's just grab all this like that uh and then let's see 823 all right so i'm gonna need 660 of these bad boys no problema motors i only have 54 motors in here they haven't made their way through yet let's go grab those perfect uh oh gosh i can't even grab all of them let's put away some of these i want to make sure that i I'd, i would rather build okay 286 fantastic all right 22 refiners coming up <laughs> i like it i might try to double them so we'll put uh essentially 11 long and have them doubled up i think that's gonna give us the best bang for our buck as far as uh size goes refinery all right, so we're gonna have inputs and outputs so i'm gonna want the inputs facing each other and then the outputs are gonna be going the opposite direction but shouldn't be an issue are you over okay are you more than one foundation wide oh you are that's unfortunate are you two foundations wide no of course not because that would be too easy all right well let's just um how do i want to put these all right we're just gonna start here for that one outputs this side inputs this side because the inputs gonna be the same on pretty much all of them uh except for the heavy oil residue so we can switch those down there if we need to so there's one uh and like i said i need 10 for the oil or for plastic specifically so let's go ahead and get one flipped around have it centered and then would that be too close no that would be just fine i think that'll work actually you know what better idea let's do this let's do this input there how's that one foundation away that should work all right cool so five on each side and that's gonna be our plastic all right there's our plastic uh these are all backwards darn it all right so piping piping is interesting i think i've got it figured out to where i need it to be uh let's go ahead and just put a pipeline support there and one there 
and basically this is going to be one whole pipeline coming down this is going to be another pipeline coming down and then this one all the way down here is going to be the final pipeline coming down so i did do a little reorganization i kind of changed my numbers a little bit uh just for the sake of symmetry <laughs> because if it wasn't symmetric it was going to be bothering uh but i think this is how this is going to work uh this requires its own line because that's going to be 300 that's going to be 300 and then all six of these are going to be 300 combined so that should work we should be able to go ahead and hook up pipes i was like uh oh did i did i mess up something i was i was a little worried that that wasn't gonna hook up and i was scared perfect all right so there's all of those guys uh like i said we're gonna be bringing these all in actually let's go ahead and get some uh let's get some stackable pipe deals in here before we even get started that way we know what to uh what to run where now i'm probably gonna want some of the industrial buffers yeah it probably wouldn't be the worst idea to have industrial buffers even if they were just the smaller ones let's actually run the pipes down here yeah, we'll kind of follow this guy a little bit. All right, so we will run most of our pipes into here with the crude oil, uh, have a buffer system in here somehow. And then with the pipes down below, I think what we're going to try to do, if I can, is I would like to just squeak in some of these guys. I think we'll be able to do this, actually. Yeah, no problem. Look at that. All right. I was a little worried. I was like, okay, what, how am I going to do this? I was originally thinking I was going to have to run them out front, but with all the uh, conveyor belts and things coming out, I didn't want to do that. Wow, this, this is a pipeline system. I like it. All right, and then what we're going to do down here is we're actually going to run uh, some industrial fluid buffers, of course, because it would be silly to not do that. These are all inputs and outputs. So we'll probably run industrial buffer on this side and one on this side as well. We're going to have to have some kind of uh, overflow protection. So we'll probably have them connect in the middle, then run into the buffers and then run out into the up into the uh the different lines so let's get these lines hooked up here so we have uh two on this side three on the other side because the third one that one is actually gonna be the residual fuel uh and then package fuel is gonna be right here all right that looks pretty good uh do i i, I, I probably don't have the stuff for organization does fuel buffers? of course i don't have these so i'm gonna say we're gonna want one two are we gonna want five in total no let's do uh let's do two large ones and let's do three smaller ones. Perfect. So the three smaller ones, we're just going to put them in here and they're going to act as just like little teeny tiny buffers. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get these like super close. So let's just go ahead and do, uh, let's actually do one centered. And we'll just do one on each side like this. That should give us a nice even pattern. You know what? Actually with this guy, we're not gonna be able to put that up, are we? Oh, uh, you know what? We're going to move these. Because if I could keep it higher, if I could keep it at the same level, I think that would be probably beneficial. Yeah, I think that'd be beneficial because it's going to be at the same level as it coming in right there. And then it'll just sloop down a little bit. All right, perfect. Nice symmetrical. Looks good. Um, and then we can get these guys hooked up as well. So like I said, this middle one is going to go right here. You know what? We're going to need uh, we're going to need some of these guys here. We got to make things look fancy. All right, so then the large fluid buffers, we're gonna put one here and we'll throw one right here as well. Is that lined up? Should be lined up, yeah. Right there as well, fantastic. Looks good. And then we gotta run some plumbing to these guys. Nothing too crazy there, just that one there. Uh, that one there, oh, what? Oh, come on. There, all right, we'll, do, <laughs> we'll just do that. That one there, into there. All right, so that's gonna be the heavy residual uh oil fluidy stuff but like i said i want these to um those are off center okay that's fine uh i want these to uh, overflow into each other just in case one of them's using more or less than the other one so we're going to accomplish that just by putting a, a junction right here and right there that should allow them to flow between each other with no problemos perfect all right now we have to have outputs and we have to have inputs of other stuff this one this packet uh actually no this is gonna be just fuel we're gonna have to squeeze in package the the package fuel stuff in here which is gonna require the package the bottles or whatever you want to call them so that's gonna have to go into there uh, but this one literally can just go straight from here to there like a new problemo uh and then we're gonna have to have something in here fantastic 
All right, so I got some belts ran out. I got the piping done for the uh, excess items to all shoot down into those guys. I got these conveyors ready, things like that. We got to get splitters or mergers, all that kind of fun stuff on here. And basically what I did was I made two lines. So these lines are going to output to the top uh, and these are going to be the plastic lines. And then we have the rubber ones, which are starting here. Those are going to output to the top of this one, but then they're going to be brought down to this bottom layer and then we can get those all into the uh, into the various, you know, industrial containers or whatever that they need to go into. Uh, and then these are all hooked up, I believe. Yeah, that's good. And then it's going to export petroleum coke, which is going to go into these lines. And then those are going to go out here. And then, oh, fantastic. Okay. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I don't think I have enough. I got to get finished getting that line hooked up over here. But... It looks as though everything is rocking and rolling. It is getting ready. We do have to kind of rerun the uh, the oil up top. We gotta get rid of those guys, bring them all down, all that fun stuff. But uh, I think that's gonna be in the next episode because unfortunately my time has ran out for this episode. But if you guys enjoyed and you wanna see more, definitely leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And uh, again, a huge shout out to everybody for supporting absolutely everywhere. Patreon, twitch.tv slash the game if you guys are interested over here on youtube everything thank you guys so much for the support it means uh it means a lot so uh, but yes next episode we will hopefully get all this stuff hooked up ready to go and going but um yeah and then we also got to figure out how to get it to the the factory because i mean obviously like the rubber and the plastic and petroleum coke the petroleum coke doesn't have to make it to the factory but the rubber and the plastic definitely do so i gotta kind of play with an idea of how i want to get this line over there neatly so yeah we'll have to see how that goes but then the petroleum coke is actually gonna be used in the crafting of the uh aluminum alclad which i don't know if we're gonna move yet or not because we need water for it so uh it'll be interesting nonetheless but uh yes thank you guys for coming out here hopefully you had a fantastic time also let's take a quick peek at the power shall we because our overhead did it drop oh yeah it was 19 before okay it was 19 before it's 14 8 now that's fine uh the 14 the additional is coming from the uh the coal mines that we have like way over there so uh yeah we are getting there we're getting things done and then once we're done with this i actually want to build this into a building i want to put walls on it want to enclose it get it all boxed up make it look all super fancy like actually it'd be kind of cool if we could get um uh, the floors to go right underneath to where these stacks are and have like just the little stacks poking out i think that'd be cool i don't know what do you guys think leave a comment down below but uh i will see you guys in the next episode